Have you ever wondered how those iconic police siren sounds are made? Believe it or not, you can replicate those effects at home with a simple electronic circuit. Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to create a DIY police siren using the 555 timer IC. Stay tuned to the second part of this video, where I'll explain how this circuit works. Here are all the components you need to set up this circuit. Two alligator clips, one 1000 microfarad capacitor, one 100 microfarad capacitor, one 0.1 microfarad capacitor, one 10 microfarad capacitor, 11 jumper wires, one 47,000 ohms resistor, two 1000 ohm resistors, two 10,000 ohm resistors, one 100,000 ohm resistor, two 555 timer ICs, four 1.5 volts battery or six volts for the power source, one five watt speaker, a breadboard to connect everything together. The 555 timer IC comes with eight pins. There is a notch or a dot on the chip's body. Pin one, located at the top left, serves as the ground or ground supply. Pin two, the trigger pin, initiates the timing interval in monostable and a stable modes. Pin three serves as the output, providing the timer's operational result depending on its mode. Monostable, a stable or bistable. Pin four, the reset pin, is used to reset the 555 timer's internal flip-flop. Pin five serves as the control pin, enabling you to adjust the threshold voltage levels used by the internal comparators to set and reset the flip-flop. Pin six, the threshold pin monitors the voltage of the capacitor in the circuit. Pin seven, the discharge pin, manages the timing capacitor's charge and discharge cycle. Pin eight, known as VCC, supplies power to the IC. Let's set up the circuit step by step. Begin by positioning the 555 timer IC on the breadboard, keeping in mind that the pins are numbered counterclockwise starting from the top left corner. Refer to the later circuit diagram if you have questions about the circuit connections. Insert the IC in the middle of the breadboard. A jumper wire connects pin one or ground to the negative rail. A jumper wire connects pin eight or VCC to the positive rail. Use a jumper wire to connect pin two or trigger to pin six or threshold. Use a jumper wire to connect pin four or reset to pin eight or VCC. Place the second 555 timer in the middle of the breadboard positioned a few rows below the first one. Connect the jumper wires on the second 555 timer in the same way as the first. Bend the ends of a 47,000 ohms resistor. Insert the 47,000 ohms resistor to pin two or trigger and pin seven or discharge. Bend the ends of a 1000 ohms resistor. Insert the 1000 ohms resistor to pin seven or discharge and pin eight or VCC. Bend the ends of a 1000 ohms resistor. Insert the 1000 ohms resistor to pin three or output and pin five or control of the second 555 timer. Use a jumper wire to extend the connection from the resistor to pin five of the second IC. Insert a 1000 microfarad capacitor into the same row as the 1000 ohms resistor. Insert the shorter leg of the capacitor into the negative rail. Turn the breadboard horizontally. Insert a 100 microfarad capacitor into pin two or trigger and the negative rail. Insert the shorter leg of the capacitor into the negative rail.
Insert a 0.1 microfarad capacitor into pin 2 or trigger and the negative rail of the second IC. Insert the shorter leg of the capacitor into the negative rail. Turn the breadboard to the other side. Bend the ends of a 10,000 ohms resistor. Insert the 10,000 ohms resistor to pin 7 or discharge in pin 8 or VCC of the second IC. Bend the ends of a 10,000 ohms resistor. Insert the 10,000 ohms resistor to pin 6 or threshold and pin 7 or discharge of the second IC. Turn the breadboard to the vertical position. Bend the ends of a 100,000 ohms resistor. Insert the 100,000 ohms resistor to pin 5 or control and the positive rail. Insert the longer leg of a 10 microfarad capacitor into pin 3 or output. Insert the shorter leg of the capacitor a few rows below the IC. Insert a jumper wire in the same row as the capacitor. Insert a jumper wire into the negative rail. Attach an alligator clip to the jumper wire. Attach both alligator clips to the 5 watt speaker. The jumper wire inserted into the negative rail should connect to the left side of the speaker terminal. It's time to connect the power supply. Attach the negative lead from the battery holder to the negative rail. Attach the positive lead from the battery holder to the positive rail. We hear the police siren. We have completed the circuit. Let's break down the circuit step by step. Here we have two 555 timers, each configured in a stable mode. The first 555 timer generates a low frequency signal, causing the second timer's frequency to oscillate, producing a siren effect. The second 555 timer produces the actual audio signal heard from the speaker. The resistors and capacitors control the timing and frequency of both ICs, allowing for modulation and sound generation. The 47,000 ohms resistor and 100 microfarad capacitor connected to pin 7 or discharge and pin 2 or trigger determine the oscillation frequency. When the output or pin 3 is high, the capacitor charges through the resistor. The capacitor discharges when the output is low, creating a continuous cycle. The output signal from pin 3 is sent to the control voltage input, or pin 5 of the second 555 timer, modulating its frequency and causing the siren effect. The 10,000 ohms resistors and 0.1 microfarad capacitor set the frequency of the second 555 timer. The signal from the first 555 timer via pin 5 varies the frequency of the second 555 timer, causing the sound to change pitch cyclically. The signal generated at pin 3, or the output of the second timer, is the actual siren sound. It is amplified and sent to the speaker for output. The 5 watt speaker converts the electrical signal into sound waves. As the signal's frequency changes, modulated by the first timer, the pitch of the sound also changes, creating the characteristic rising and falling tone of a siren. The sound output from pin 3 of the second timer is fed through a 10 microfarad capacitor to the speaker. The capacitor acts as a coupling component, 
blocking any DC voltage from reaching the speaker while allowing the AC audio signal to pass through. I hope this video has shown you how to make a police siren with five 55 timer ICs. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing for more electronics tips and tutorials, and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.